beautiful. beautiful. Welcome, Welcome back to my Chanel. Oh, Ooh. little biscuit was like, what's happening? What's happening to oh, twins? Go, no. girls. Well, my lovelies. Welcome, Roly Oh, hi. Hello. I haven't seen you for a long time. No, it's been at least no. eight minutes. 18 lesbians. Oh, 18 of them. Yeah. Oh, dear God. So, my lovelies, it's been ages since we have had the roly guest here uh, to do Pete Burns' bia. No. It's been two and a half months since we filmed one. Isn't that embarrassing? Well, Pete's PA? Yeah. Oh, no. Two and a half see. months. Ten weeks. Could have had a baby. I know. We could have, we could have watched season eight. This season has been kind of a bit weird. Um, maybe, maybe I should ask how you are. How are you? I'm all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, do. we just filmed a podcast. Yeah, we just filmed a podcast episode and it was current events and of course it made us talk about some intense things that happened yes very much so lots and lots mm. i can't wait to see how this turns I know, out yeah. so my lovelies it's been ages since we've done one of these and one of the top comments on the last episode of pete's pa girls oh if i didn't say we're watching an episode watching of pete's PA, PA, yeah yeah today. the day now my brain is in the gutter slut today because Ooh. i only i i went to sleep at like 4 a.m my brain was just like good morning she it's was busy she, she was busy raw dragging all night Oh, I wish. I actually wasn't. <laughs> I was just struggling to sleep. Oh, dear God. The top comment is by Darby, oh, fake name, 1699. <gasps> Why have they done that on YouTube now? Near. They've made the they've at made all the Yeah, they've oh, made I all the like YouTube it. names at instead of actually what they wrote. I don't like it, don't like it. And they say, this era of reality TV was surrealist comedy mixed with the kind of ethically questionable social experiments you learn about in school. I live. Hey, that's and the Darjeeling. That is absolutely the Darjeeling in every sense of the word. Mm. I have a very love-hate relationship with a lot of these old shows. Oh, same, totally. It's very... Uh, when we watched these, like, growing up, I didn't watch all of Pete Burns PA, but I did catch a bit of it. It was, like, gold TV to me because I'd never seen Pete on anything else except no, Pete's no, no, brother no, no, yeah. and maybe his own little documentary and also... Was it Come Dine With Me or Wife Swap? Wife well, Swap. He did Wife Swap. Wife Swap. That was, like, an iconic moment. Sex cetera. Do you remember Sex I do remember Sex cetera. Do you remember? No, it was 20 years. Do you remember Sex cetera. 20 years ago. No, you got here. No. So in the last episode of Pete's BA, we had to say... Say goodbye to the to daily, the daily, daily mail. Mail. the gays, the daily goes. Unfortunately, the it does, daily gays. Well, it's, it's a bit that. Yeah, it? it's a bit, you know that thought. Are you that sort? It is a bit of a shame that we had to say goodbye to her. Although we sort of love to hate her, I do feel like. Are you sure that was the last episode? I feel like we. I, were... d I don't think it was. I that was the last <laughs> Good guy, get a grip, girl. So, uh... little biscuit, are you ready to go and sit on your little pillow you whilst we shout, executed. shout on the internet? Euthanasia? No. Oh. Done it now. You've done it now. <laughs> what are they gonna do? They're gonna oh. shoot me. Deranged. Previously on Pete's PA. Right. Previously. We actually might need to watch this because yeah. I don't remember. Oh, it fell out. Of course, it was the PA thing. Oh, the PR yeah. thing was. Like, don't tell my secrets. Yes. Don't talk to me. What are you talking about? You stupid. Yeah, it must be. Things got emotional for Shelley at eliminations. Oh, the her bash meter wasn't selling. Yeah. I've been in this room. I always work hard and put hundred percent in everything. Oh, dear. But the it was SJ who was nice. shown the. Oh, it was SJ. He it was. It was. Uh, yeah, the so Daily Mail. The Daily Mail. Hasn't really agreed. She has to take her little kitten heel and yeah. walk home to the rucksack. Got to win, got to lose. Die. The Daily Mail. The da 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 Time to be a PA. Be in Lotus. The most random collection it's of images. The of a new week. Right, here we are, suburbia. To an unknown destination. Do you have a... Oh, what have I done? No, you it's not working. Yeah, no, bitch. stop it. She's dead. That we're probably going to go to oh, a the dirty, flea-ridden, scrubby flat that we have to fumigate and turn into a palace within Ooh. like an hour or something. Like I mean, that. she's Which, definitely know, got the challenges correct. Like, you know, we are all scrubbers and stuff, so... I, I think it's going to be something... Scrubbers, scrubbers, isn't yeah. that an insult? Like, dirty scrubber. How vile. Presenting, not presenting. Imagine movies in 1622. Well, like, they were, it was, were it was they? Just, it was just like, the plague. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on TV, but like, some sort of presentation skills. The audio, oh unmatched again. Yeah, yeah. Got really loud background music. Emphasis. Oh, this is a bar. Six. 
getting very exciting now. Yeah. This week's challenge It's is getting about... so exciting, yeah. you forgot to smile. Is that saying, it, like, it's getting so exciting now. I might just take off all my clothes. This might be the episode that I think I've seen previously. Do you remember I was going through a phase of being like, today is the yeah, one. Today is the I one. I think today might I don't believe you. Until, until it happens, I don't believe you. <laughs> How to negotiate free products and services no, no. for your client in exchange for media exposure. Wait, what? As your client. How to negotiate free products and services <gasps> for your client. This is the one I've seen. Just you wait. Bleaching a hole on YouTube is very appropriate. Oh It'll be down to you to try and negotiate these deals and see what you can get on behalf of Scoot. your client. I know a lot of celebrities out there get stuff for free. I don't think it's my time to get stuff for free because I've never had a goddamn do, thing for time. nothing. So I want a PA who can go out and convince companies and various places that I am actually still alive enough in the realm of celebrity to be given things for free. I think I'm a pretty good kind of candidate to endorse certain things and products that I've used for years. And I'm sick of paying through you the asshole. Like oh no, I was going to say no. that. Did not, I was like, I think maybe I've done uh, that yeah, one. Uh, did you ever watch him on, I think it was Celebrity Juice back in the day? I watched him on a few one game show he talk show things. One, yeah, so know. he was on a panel. He was in a beige dress and he um, he had to like redo his makeup. So he just got baby powder out, poured it all over the desk in front of him and just began like applying makeup and just like doing it whilst everything else was going on around him. It's quite iconic. <laughs> Okay, the teams are equal, but can we hear a bit of commotion for the dress? <laughs> this is the front. Dad bought implants for himself. <laughs> what are you doing with baby powder? Don't let Kate Moss see that. She'll be there for <laughs> <two> hours. <laughs> I wish there was a way to like see these things. That's such an obscure reference to yeah. a show that's probably just gone forever. Yeah. Nick Eid, who is a celebrity lifestyle expert. He negotiates All these people. for celebrities celebrity here lifestyle in the UK and expert. in the States. Uh, finding negotiate. Sorry. What is a celebrity lifestyle expert? It's just a flashy, flashy way of saying like gossip bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and blagging is an art form and Nick is here to show You wouldn't call it blagging because it's not, you're not getting something for free. You're actually like promoting a product that you like. Yeah. It's not blagging, it's not being gifted, it's not like this sneaky thing that celebrities do. It's actually like a business partnership. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, it's yeah. weird that they're like, let's look at the gossip bitch to tell us how to get theft. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. Hello. The modern celebrity is extremely commercially viable, and it's up to you to understand. Celebrity has Ooh, always. Been I'm on the cat. It's, it's taken a bump of cat before mm. coming here. Celebrity has always been a viable business industry. The idea is like the modern celebrity. No, the ancient ones were like the royal family. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she's got. A, this is a very two thousand. I was gonna say, actually yeah. really like that yeah. hairstyle. I love it. Very Cascada. Very. And exactly what Pete Burns means to society and to do with the marketing and with PR. Guys, don't underestimate the power of blagging. It's a very, very Don't good call thing it blagging, it's not. It's also extremely difficult. It's not all about grabbing freebies. It's about being able to understand your client, be able to sell your client to other people. I wonder if normal celebrities from the normal way of getting celebrity mm -hmm. back in the day, if any of them who are maybe some of the like sort of more newer celebrities or lower end of the celebrity scale got pissed off when like, Influencers became a thing, and suddenly oh, they yes. were getting gifted loads of stuff, and all of a sudden, like they were like, "Not me anymore," because you're giving it to. Uh, one hundred percent, I reckon that was we've we've incidentally stepped on people's toes because we kind of we're not celebrity in the same sense. We're celebrity is in like a celebrated individual, yeah, because we do quite an unusual thing with our lives that also brings joy to many people. But we're not celebrity as in like my name's <laughs> and I'm gonna fall in love on this boat, yeah, love oh, boat oh, on our team. Love Philip Scope. We love boats. She's on the boat and the she's also on oh, the don't game. Don't tell Suella, she'll stop them. Yeah, she will. What did you just say? Understand your, your boss. Basically, you know, what does Pete want? Why would Pete want it? In this and economy. why should he have it? You've also got to think of the people she, you're talking to. This lady, she's Natalie, always... is like, What's going Natalie on? Natalie Cassidy. Natalie Cassidy is just doing this now, washing mm. the bins. And what an excellent time to interject with today's Twitch shout out, which Me. goes to, yes, Roly, our new partner on Twitch. No, Satan's Cuddle Bunny. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, your stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video, Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays. Ooh. I know. She's and trying to run up the clock. She like. is, yes, yes. Paid by the word. Paid by <laughs> <laughs> And with that, back to your regular scheduled programming. Why do they want people? to endorse it 
Is he right for their That's brand? That's what this is. Product How endorsement, not blagging. Yeah. What exposure is he going to give them? And why should they do it? last time was like, I hate everyone, just scum. Maybe that was kind of how it was seen back then though. Mm. Maybe they kind of saw it like that. Never be afraid to, when they say no, always bang on another door. I think it's very important. When they say no, well, be like, give me the gift certificate. Give me the gift certificate. The person that you're working for. So always be bright, charming, happy. Spunky. Maybe a little jokey. Bubbly, bubbly oh, woman at the water cooler. At the end of the day, or whoever you're working for. And I think that's vitally important. Right guys, your task he is you've got the, an hour. Dad, what, I forgot what his Ian. name was, Ian. He looks so uninterested today. Is that, uh, Myself. Yeah, and it's not interesting. Yeah. It's a very strange environment to see someone like Ian in because clearly he's here for the TV aspect, not here to be Pete Burns' PA. No. Absolutely. To get as many products as you can for Pete, things that are specific to him that you think would be perfect for him. Specific to so all get vanilla candles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You three guys at the front come forward. Is this the second blagging challenge? I they, guess, yeah. Because they, they had a the... small budget last time and they and tried uh, to get more. Oh, for give it. me more roses from a pussy. Oh, yeah, it's all my pussy. Oh, my God. Off you go, good luck. Good luck. Off you go, girls. Off the bridge like a lemming. Ooh. With only an hour to get as many freebies as they Why can Why are we doing repeat, Spanish music? Nicky, Natalie and Denise hit the streets. Ian, Damon and... Natalie Shane and Michael Denise are on the game. ...about what to black for Pete. We can get him a six-month gym membership. I don't know what I'm doing! We can get him a six-month gym membership. Just a weekend holiday, if we can do... We have to go for something like Yes, supposed to do this. Cosmetics, skincare, hair care, clothing. A trip to the Balfers, yeah. A trip on the, on the pier, yeah. Finally, oh. Shelley, Damon, and Ian decide to start their challenge. Oh, she was like, I've made a whoop thing. Are they in teams? He has a potential it seems celebrity to be. Blag Did we see how they decided the teams? I don't know. I don't think we did. No, I don't. Maybe know. We were chatting a lot. Maybe we just missed it. But I don't do you know, sometimes though, this show is one of those ones where I feel like you could chat almost the whole way through and not miss anything. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. said at the end when they're like, I just really love my Daily Mail. I really love the Daily Mail. Her sights. We were just leaving one of the shops that we first went along to, uh, and just show as we come out, show uh, and Larry Spence, Jackson Scott, but I've who done is it now. a famous oh, flamenco guitar player. I'm like a whippet. So oh, we yeah. had to chase him down the road. Do you mm. know what's really weird about watching reality TV shows is seeing like British like traffic lights because mm -hmm. they're such a British thing, and we never see them on TV unless it's like. This, the woman was found dismembered by the police officer. I always love it when they try to make like old, old themed TV shows or whatever, and they forget to like take out like some of the yeah. background. There's sometimes like a traffic light in the background. It's like, this isn't the 1800s. No. It was like a bollard. Oh, yeah. He finally caught up with him, who was running in heels. Oh, possessed. Bless her. I'm sorry to broach you on the street. We had to get hold of you. Basically, we work for a gentleman called Pete Burns. You must know him. Very colourful yes, character, very avant-garde. No we know that your music is way out there. Uh, we're looking for somebody or something that could be as unique as Pete to feature, which will be featured on television, so great publicity to you. To feature perhaps in a pre-wedding evening, um, because you're due to get Guess married the soon. Right. There'll be loads of celebrities that it could She's be. She's broken her NDA that yeah, she had last week. Yeah, they're due to be married soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah punished, yeah. execute, electric chair. Yeah, yeah, electric chair. Electric chair. Very good opportunity, but we don't just want anybody or anything. We want somebody who is as special and unique in their style. We love your music and we... I don't think Pete is going Has to Pete want ever... a flamenco I, um... guitarist at his wedding. Out of all the years I've seen Pete Burns do stuff, flamenco dancing is not... It's not one no. of them. If I think of Pete Burns, I think he would rather sit down, just glam. sit down, be sit glamorous, down, glam. while something happens in front of him. Absolutely. Very... The emperor. Yeah. Very that, yes. <laughs> while something happens in front of him. Someone doing all that. Might as well just have approached a clown on yeah. the street. I wondered if you would possibly do... Sure, yeah. Will you do the event? Yeah. Will you do and it? He will. Yeah. He's obviously right the because he was more than enthusiastic. So yeah, I think I did a good job on that. Off with his With their first blag in the bag, the girls move on. First blag in the bag. I hate that. Why is everything the other slogan? team decide to have another meeting. Is that Carnaby Street? Yeah. Yeah. That is Carnaby yeah. Street. No, yeah, no, that's cool, that's cool. The Great Frog is just behind down here, isn't it? I feel like, it's like yeah, I'm missing a point out or something. Did, so we just remember the points that we were given in... Pete Burns. Oh, yeah, so this is Carnaby Street main hunt. When you just looked, uh, Great Frog is round the corner. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. yes, so it's a little bit further this way than... Yeah. Yes, yes. Here we are. Meet, meet, meet the manager. Yeah. Um, meet the manager. 
black, no black. Make up, make up. And it's getting point. Oh, they, so they're going into Mac? Or what, what, the, for them? Yeah, what are they getting out of it? Well, well microphones just shit Weird. back in this like, day and age. It's like they don't understand that. No. It's, it's like so They've used onboard microphones. They have, yeah. They've, they've literally, yeah, onboard microphones from a desktop that's down yeah. the road. Well, yeah. Shut up, it is not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just my voucher rather than actually buying the product so then Pete can choose the products he wants. Voucher all, voucher all. Of things. They started off with a pair straight up to Oxford Street. That was Shelley's idea. Shelley. She wanted to just kind of blanket Oxford Street, which I think is a really yeah. terrible idea because they're all huge stores. You're never going to be able to get anything from them because you need to contact all their PRs. With yes, things well, moving that's slowly the point. for Ian & Co, the girls, thrilled with their success, are on a roll. We're looking to see if we could get like um, a free haircut, shave, you know, obviously a male grooming. Um, <laughs> shave? <laughs> Sorry, you <keep laughs> impaling your own spine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you ever be like, Come into my salon, Pete Burns. We'll give you a nice shave. No, no, I just... And he's like, who the f*** are you? He's also like, a what? He's, Is he a cross-dresser? Is he a cross-dresser? Would that be at all possible? Yeah, we could uh, consi consider that. For, uh, we could consider that, races. which means We're no. We're doing some market research for some gifts we could possibly take if you would be willing. That's lovely. Oh, that's really lovely. That's so, that's so lovely. Thank you very much. That was very, um, the those, points those going two on. dogs. No, that, was, that <laughs> sounded more like the points coming off of when someone loses on Wheel of Fortune. Oh, hey. taking it back to the 90s. Hey. Yeah. You could possibly try one of those. Oh, 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 excellent. Thank you. I can't hear a single word. No, I can't understand what it's like. like. <laughs> Shelly, Ian and Damon finally walk into a shop to try and negotiate some goods for Pete. What Hello. is that? Is that Thank Space you. NK? The Miracle Face Finisher and actually one of our best-selling makeup. Bags, oh, so he can actually put his makeup oh, in there. That's what I made to give. Should I grab that all for you? Yeah, yeah love them, guys. So, so we'll go to this cupboard down here. But right. Donna isn't impressed. I don't think it's likely that they'll be able to get anything else because they haven't. She's so not planning negative. Ahead. They're not she, she's a really negative woman, isn't she? I don't think that no. anything's going to happen. Ha! Don't talk who, what, to me. Can we remember who she was again? Who is this woman? Business. Oh no, that's the other guy. Rob is the business analyst. Who is she? She's celebrity PA. She was oh. like, I've worked for. I've worked for. Donna Kebab and and um, uh, Jesus Christ himself. Jesus. Backup plans. They're just kind of going to the nearest shop to them at that time and seeing if they'll let them in really, and well, then seeing what they can chance. The thing is, she's just said. Oh, they were planning on going to Oxford Street to see all the big brands, and they won't have any of yeah, that. No, so, no. so now that they're going to the smaller independent ones, she's like, no, well, what's the point? They're just no. going in and asking for stuff, aren't yeah. they? What is the point of the challenge here? Is it write a nice letter to PR? Or is it actually get free stuff? Yeah, I don't know what the, yeah, I'm not what's sure. What's the what point? Oh, coming up. The PAs have been set a challenge to blag as many products as they can in an hour. While Nikki, Natalie, and Denise have had success, Things other, are going slowly for the other team. The other team haven't gotten and anything. They've popped a lot. They've popped a lot. I was going to say they've popped a nut, but I was like, oh no. Oh. Sorry. Actually, I'm not going to say we've already been on the report. Sorry. I was going to say they've popped a nut, but I was like, oh no. Sorry. Actually, I'm not going to say we've already been on the report. I'd like to. I'd like to. Uh, I was going to speak to the person at Neil's yard because Best I had made the contact earlier, so I thought it'd be a good idea for Sorry. me. Sorry. I. Oh, I thought I said natural selection. Natural selection. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I mean, true. I made the contact Somebody. earlier. So I thought it would be a good idea for me to go in there. And, Stop uh, pissing about at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, I know. Myself and Ian and Damon all went Shoot in. Lily. Um, I took a direct approach. It and I sold my pitch yeah. manner. Um, asked for a few gifts for Pete. We're really looking um, for a treatment that for coat. Um, Pete Burns. He's got a sort of spine injury. Um, we just want to know if we can maybe sort of see if anyone could do him a massage basically for free. Um, that is actually down to the discretion of the practitioner. Right. So um, I could give you his details. I could. Could I speak to him direct? Because obviously I've got no not, communication. Yeah, you could like do. You could call in tomorrow. He's in tomorrow. The thing is, we need it. We need to get it for today. Shelley kind of just basically took in and took over, um, rather aggressively and rather, you yeah, know, slightly hostile. He doesn't like women. That He's so misogynistic. It was not aggressive or hostile. Not, was that not. was not aggressive or hostile. Oh, Damon's dead. <gasps> Introduce us. She didn't actually say what she was actually doing and wanting. Would it be possible to? She, she, she did. She just said she, she was going for Pete Burns. Like that's yeah, the... in for Pete Burns. Is there any chance he can get a free massage because he's got a spine injury apparently that we've not heard anything no. about? So 
the art of blagging. Yeah, that, get I mean, in the maybe bin. That's what, maybe that is it. That's the blag. Maybe that, that is not the blag. actually real. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh-huh. Free massage. Free yeah. la, 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 la. Deranged. Get a voucher for Pete. I know he's got a bit of um, spine strain at the moment on his neck and the upper back. Would it be possible to get some sort of voucher for maybe an acupuncture treatment or a massage, something like that? Could have maybe took a little bit of a softer approach, but I've just went in for the kill. We've only got an hour of t- I of, think she's um, doing right. Am I? Are we just right? like... I don't think she's gone in for the kill. Are we do aggressive we, ourselves? We, are, we go in for the kill. We see someone, we're like, dead. No, she's being quite softly, softly. I mean, she could, like, deliver it with a smile, perhaps. That's very, like, call centre, PR ladies. We're quite, you know... Yeah. In your face kind of thing. I know. It's but I, I can guarantee that, you know, I mean, could you do any more than 100 or 100 the maximum? I'll go, I'll go to going out head office. Shelley uh, did ruin it a little bit for us because she just got carried away with the situation. It was just like no. a ball at, in a china shop. That's how it just come across and we just needed to, you know, we could have got stuff because we already know them. I understand where you're coming from, Ian, but like I said, we've only, we've only got a short amount of time. We've and got it, to get and, these products. But because we have a short amount of time, that's why we have to concentrate on what's right. I'm furious. They are so unprofessional. They're standing in the middle of a store, arguing between them. Shelley's been very, very defensive because she obviously wants to go in. She's been invisible practically in all the challenges for the previous week. So this. So this what's like, the problem with that? It's a challenge. Can I say something else as well? Yes, go for it. They're not very good. Like, look at the overexposure like, on her forehead. I, and yeah. like, everything is like, hello. Her microphone's the only one that's turned yeah. on. Yeah. Time she's thinking, I want to shine. She's standing there. She's ha- she's arguing with her other team members. She's completely disregarded what Nick and I, I said think this Shelley morning about you are the mm. spokesperson for your client. So these people are going to think that Pete's pushy, argumentative, arrogant. They've offered some... Well, don't they? <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Outrageous. I think she's been completely unprofessional and I am furious. Not, Why are you furious? Why is she being unprofessional? Just, 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 well, yeah, you know, I, if we hadn't said anything, we would have got nothing. Well, and we've got this at well, the moment, OK? Yeah. So I know it's not a lot, but it's something. No, we weren't going to... I'm not saying we weren't going to say anything. We just needed to approach it in right, a different way. Let's not argue. There's no point yeah, arguing. Right? Not, We're working as a team. Yeah, they, I, they I, shouldn't I, be doing it in the shop. Yeah, no, that's true. But I fully don't understand why they're doing it. I fully... Unless there's things they've not aired, because what they've shown and what they're saying isn't matching up. No, it really isn't. It seems like she's gone into the shop and got on a £100 voucher for acupuncture. That's what I'm getting so far. It's actually worked. And the other two teammates are like, You're like a bull in a china shop, it's doing too much. Oh, she's just unprofessional. It feels like, I wanted, I, I should have been on doing this. Yeah, I'm the I, I, me. I'm the bush baby. It's very, I'm the bush baby, isn't it? And now they're all upset. Yeah. Sulking with your free gift certificate. And now we with leave. With the hour over, both teams reconvene to see how they have done. Oh, right. Does, do they... Right. Donna, how do they get on? This team didn't do very well at all. They went out with big ideas. Donna is scathing. Yeah, she's like, not nice. This team is disgusting. They deserve the electric chair. And they came back with a bar of soap, a bath bomb, a makeup bag and some concealer. Thank you, Donna. The team that I was with managed to accost Jackson Scott, who's a famous flamenco performer, and ask him to perform for Pete and his boyfriend, maybe at the wedding or any other time, but it was fantastic for them to- Or any other time, you know, just a Tuesday afternoon. Just was um, a free haircut and shave and also head massage for Pete and his partner. And also they managed to- The concealer might have cost more than all of this put together. Absolutely. Just to to say. Just, yeah, yeah. A huge red box of uh, chocolates. Well, cutting to the chase, guys, let's have a look at the financial worth of what you've got. We're coming in at around about five and a half thousand pounds worth of product. The woman was too stunned to speak. Unless this man is like, yeah, I charge five thousand yeah, pounds sorry. for a private that appearance. That feels very much like he's gone. It's a setup because he could he could, he could just go, anything. I think this costs this much. He could the say price is right, isn't anything. it? Anything. The price is. How about you, Donna? Well, I'd say if we rounded it up to the nearest pound, uh, thirty pounds. I thought you got a hundred pound gift card for the what? What happened to that? <sighs> Whatever happened to the gift card? <sighs> I just don't know. Are we going to kiss? No, <laughs> sorry, we're not. But that is just disgusting. I cannot believe. About thirty pounds. I just feel like I, de- I don't get what happened to the voucher. That's what I'm really confused about. You said you got a hundred pound voucher. That's what I and thought just saying, happened. Yeah, because they were saying, well, if I didn't say anything, we would have gone anything. So you got a hundred pounds. Where's a hundred pounds? Thirty pounds. Stupid. Stupid, yeah, it feels, stupid, It feels like We didn't up. see Damon ask for anything. We didn't see Ian ask for anything either. No. It feels like set up. It feels set up. Yeah, this is production being like, we need to get rid of someone. Get rid of Shelly girl. Shelly. Not selling she shells anymore. No. Pashmina. That's £30. Pounds. Yeah. That made me feel absolutely... I was really, really embarrassed, actually, by that. Unfortunately, it was, it was a bit... A bit... 
a bit naff, really, bless them. But they still tried. Well, it's pretty it obvious is, to see yeah. who are the winners, my team, so well done. Clearly, yeah. clearly I'm the winner I, here, I'm actually. Clearly, so I've, I've decided. Clearly, I'm, I'm gay. I'm the winner, yes. I'm winner, and I have to say that winner is you, Nicola. Oh! oh. Uh, Nick's choice of making me a winner is right. Made me more confident in the fact that maybe I'm I'm starting to learn a bit about being a bit truly become the woman back. I was meant to be. I've truly become. I'm pretty Jessica Alves. Anyway, yes. so I don't think it gave me any more confidence. Back at the house, celebrity PA Donna Cooling has died. news of the candidates make has died. <laughs> <laughs> Back at the house, celebrity PA Donna Cooling has died. <laughs> the house, celebrity PA Donna Cooling has news of the candidate's main challenge for the week. Hi guys, did you enjoy today? No, no you're bullied. Now it's time to find out what the rest of this week's challenge is. I'm not going to tell you, but I do have a little message from Pete. Hi guys. Oh, uh, look at the TV down on the floor. Everybody Hi look guys. at the floor. Today you've been learning all about commercial endorsements and hopefully getting me loads of stuff for free. I love them the editing. They couldn't put that all, uh, you couldn't just, they, they, like what are they gonna do now? But we've also been Why assessing your skills the whole way through? as negotiators. Weird. Nikki, Natalie, and Shelley, please stand together. We're going to execute you. Death! These are your teams for the week, and your challenge oh. is to arrange two fabulous dates for Michael and me. I want these dates to be original, fun, and memorable, I love that lip romantic. Color. I've written a brief for you. It's so now that you on the desk in front of you. The audio. What? This, this the editing, editing here. Weird, weird choices. Weird, weird yeah. choices. Again, this feels. Uh, we said it before in an earlier episode. It feels like um st uh, like a stu university student project of like first ever time producing a show. First or time in drag. First time in drag. <laughs> university project. First time in drag. I say. There's one little catch. You haven't got a penny. To do it with. Right, so it's the Good same luck. challenge again for the <laughs> other half of the show. Mm. As today's winner, Nikki, you get to choose your envelope first. Mm. Thank you. She's, she's dressed like a croupier. Thank you. Thank you. Golden envelope. Also, what, how is this a reward when it's random? Your reward was you get to pick the envelope first, but it doesn't matter because they're not telling you. If, if you told what the envelope was and they get the first choice of what it is, that would make sense. But the winner is gone, you get to pick first, but it's just a random thing in an envelope that they don't know. That's, so that's true. That's not a it's winning. It's not really a reward, is it? I mean, I guess the idea is you get to pick first, perhaps. But, but like... there's, no, there's no upside to it because you don't know what's in each envelope. Yeah, weird. A game of luck, lady luck. Indulgers. Indulgers. Oh, it's very dead. Not dead. Oh, dead. No, no, the, the resurrection. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't know what you were saying. I was almost going on. Like, so many months ago, was, we did yeah, that. It was because, literally like seven years. Yeah, because you've gone now. Yeah. I was very much daunted by that re request. Yes, I mean, I've I've never done anything like that before. Oh no! I, you know, my mum would never let me trick or treat because she said it was begging. So for me to go and ask for something for nothing is is completely. But you've just done it. You've just done it, a, and also that's what being a PA kind of is. Yeah, we. I don't sound like what. I, I don't seem. Again, why why has she got this segment here when the first the challenge that they just did was getting stuff for free? Yeah, I don't. Like... You need ground to me. You can just brainstorm for now. Yeah. Oh, can't say that. No, you can't now, yeah. Our ideas were that we would go along the theme from start to finish of pure indulgence. So it was a car, it was a hotel, it was bar treatments, and then a goodie bag that they could take home so they had as much as physically possible. That's a very well-rounded approach. A way to get there, a place to stay, and a thing to bring back. Yeah, it could possibly quite had a lot of potential. Um, I thought, you know, it'd be easier to do that one. Not necessarily That's easier, but certainly more interesting. What is this framing? Why has he got so much purple above his head? Ian's initial thought, as soon as he heard the word... The yellow was pages! And then what was the, what, we... the yellow one was... What was the blue one? Business. It was, it was like commercial business, commercial premises. And the yellow one was just everyone? Yeah, it was everyone and also commercial businesses. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the blue one was then, yeah, actually, no. It was like a little panther on it. Yeah. It was like a black panther. The blue book. I remember, do you remember there was like 9X? No. As well. well. I remember my nan used to be a 9X. And it was like, oh no, she's, you can't find her number in there. She's on 9X. I don't know what Ooh. that was. You've progressed on from that. They'd go up in a hot air balloon and then land on a private estate Ooh. with a homemade She's on a hot air balloon. As the teams work into the night, the earlier events of the day with Shelley are still playing on the boys' minds. Right. right. Let's the Shelley's Let's go. Flagging. So they're going to go in bit. Oh, yeah, that's Pete's right. seat. Give it to us. Oh, uh, forget you then. Bye, Pete. Fuck you then. <laughs> Oh, he is such a little bitch, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. He really thinks he's something. He's like a kid's TV presenter, yeah. but just evil. 
Oh. It's first thing in the morning, and with only one day to plan and organize their dates, the candidates are straight on the phones, but it's a slow start. Look at the little mobile phone. We've all oh. together these Naked. goodie bags. Um, Wasn't it easy when you could just be like, do you know what? The next time you can talk to me is tomorrow because I'm out. Tomorrow, yes. <laughs> don't text me before don't six. Don't talk no. to me. Oh, yeah. Don't get on the phone before six because no. it's cheaper after six. Yeah. Don't put the washing machine yeah, on before six to get cheaper yeah. electricity at night. Yeah. Don't watch TV before yeah. night because yeah. We used to have so many weird, like, unspoken social rules. And, like, did you ever have a thing where it's like, if you use the landline, you can't call someone after eight because yeah, it would yeah. be considered rude? Yeah. Stupid. Weird. Weird, weird. One, you, and people I used to just get, turn up for coffee. Do you remember that? Awful. Do you remember the detective that was like, if someone was on the phone, it was like, the current the person you're calling is currently the busy. Un unavailable. And then it was like, press, to use ring back, press one. But it was always like 20 pounds. Yeah, it was ridiculous. So when, what, ring back, and then when they put the phone down, as soon as they put the phone down, it, it then rings ring. you. And then you pick it up and then it rings them. And it would be like, Hello. Oh, ridiculous. But it was, yeah, do you it was remember a... also reverse calling? The amount of times I had to do this from a phone box in yeah. the middle of nowhere because I was a drunk teenager uh, and being like, come get me. Help I'm me. very upset. Yeah. Help. My pussy's wet. I remember when they first invented chocolate. I always hated it. Um, limo packages, uh, hotels, etc., so that P can choose what he would like to do for the wedding. For Is that living. at all possible? No. <laughs> Denise no, Ian and Damon not. are in the garden where they are being closely watched by business psychologist Rob Young. Business I psychologist? Also thing. closely watched. Mm. Hello. Oh, what's happening? Are you going to bleach your hole on YouTube? It's so hot. I'm up in a hot air balloon. It's something they haven't done before. Hot air balloon. Um, like obviously, it's, it's, it is going to be on TV, so I think it would be quite a good promotion. Um, for oh, yes, this would have been filmed after his people... Uh, Big Brother appearance, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm quite surprised then that he hasn't just been automatically. I guess maybe they already have, and in the guise of the show, they're asking for more. I guess. Yeah, I yeah. He would have had his. He would have had things. He would have had actual PAs. Yeah. He wouldn't be on this show without a PA. Well, already. as you always said, this isn't this isn't the show for to find a PA. This is no, show it's to a reality TV. TV yeah. yeah. For your company, I was wondering if you was could it possibly do Jade's that complimentary. PA. Do you remember Jade Goody had a? This was. Jade, Jade's PA. Oh, I didn't know you that. You didn't know about Jade's PA? No. I think this is after Jade's PA. I think they're oh, really? following the same thing. Because oh. obviously she appeared on Big Brother, then on Celebrity Big Brother, and then I think they did Jade's PA. So this was 2007, wasn't it? So so this is based on Jade's PA, which I guess was probably, Jade's PA might have done really well, and they thought, another celebrity, quickly, who's also been on Big Brother? Yeah. Do it. You wouldn't. Everyone's Thanks, like, Alex. Have a good no. day. Bye, bye. Well, Are you having well, fun, little bit? Well, A, all his balloons are booked out, mm, and well. he wouldn't like to set something up, and then the weather changes, and you couldn't go up anyway. I'd just like a conversation with you, um, put into you my, my uh, requirements. It, it shouldn't, it really shouldn't be that that in depth and that long. This is not it's how you just start a brief no. overview. It would, it wouldn't be too painful at all. Painful. What is she talking? About? Is she operating a doctor's yeah, surgery? Yeah, we, we want a free nose job. Yes, he's oh. outside in his lemon. Not Why are you licking my fingers? Nothing, no one is answering the phone. My job is to People ring all the limo ring companies no. to find out if we can hire a limo from 3.30 till 10 o'clock tomorrow. Um, I've just rang one stretch limo company. Um, and they said no. They've got a bit of bad news. They haven't got many cars available because it's Ascot week. After oh, well, there's going to be nothing available at all. Is that the horse racing yeah, thing? Yeah, that's the one where yeah. they're all like, everyone needs everything fancy, nothing yeah. for you. What we saw when we were in Oxford. Not Oxford, Liverpool. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Basically, we were onto a country, a country manor with some fantastic grounds. That looks. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. Don't touch yeah. my dog. Yeah. How dare you? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That grand. Oh. But unfortunately, she's dead. Short lived. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. That's all right. Thanks very much for trying. It's, it's so... There's just been a murder. Yeah, it's so British to be like. No. Uh, after any amount of bad news, because yeah. it's like, oh, thinking of what next to say. Thank you. Thanks for. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Just said, please, just said, Helen No, that the was whole the thing. hotel. Oh. <gasps> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be true, uh, wasn't it? Donna's on dead. On didn't they, didn't she have thrillers? I was going to well, a hotel for thrilling. No, I mean, we, we just felt flat. Maybe it's a murder theme. Yeah, yeah. maybe it's so yeah. high from here. In no, no, girls. What we're gonna do, you know? What we're gonna do? Just another nice an idea. So one completely out of the. Uh, He's got. Oh, the sorry, little biscuit. Superman. He's got a Superman tattoo. Mm. Super faggot.
Oh, <laughs> blocked. Uh, educational. <laughs> a sex museum. A sex I was about to say prostitution. Come and look prostitute. at this dick! Intercord. Get your museum. dick out, no, no, girls! But... Well, there's one in Amsterdam. There's, there's one in Amsterdam. In London. Right, get us a number then. Whereabouts they can't. That? Well, Denise and the Possibly boys press on. Free trip to Natalie's about to bring the other team their first oh, she success. Looks... We managed to get Haggard, Pete yeah. and Michael a night in Blake's hotel. I managed to get the contact, so I was quite happy about that. And so she's Natalie doing well in the room. challenge. Oh, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Once that was in the bag, it was, you know, we were... Plain sailing. Mm -hmm. Can I just also ask you, with regards to the meal, can we possibly get a bottle of champagne for them as well? Would that be possible? <sighs> Panicked. Breakfast and champagne. Oh, oh Matt, you are an absolute, absolute Let's angel. I can't well, thank shit. you enough. And things are looking up out in the garden. We've got to. Uh, things are looking pull, up pull. down the hole. Down the hole. Oh, dead. Oh. oh. And uh, we were we were come up with the idea of thrilling him with uh, with one using one of your four by fours. Thrilling him in a four by four. So we're trying to uh, get it for tomorrow. And if possible, it was to be for free. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye. Is he like, Bye. no. What are you Yeah, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Hey. Hey. He is the most... He's got no he's personality. He's like the most unenthused person. He's like... From that, it seemed like they just tried... No, no everyone's no, dead. No, she's dead. But he was like... Oh, yeah, they're going to do it. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Woo! Whee! If I was in a challenge, I'd be like, yes, next one. Next Come on, girls. Come on, roll. girls. Get your dick out. Get your dick out, <laughs> girls. Oh, my God. Every time we film a Pete's PA, it's so just deranged yeah. because we have to make the entertainment. <laughs> Michael's thing and Pete's thing. But the message from Pete was to keep Michael happy. So well done, Ian. Death. For the main task this week, Ooh. the PAs must blag and plan two theme dates for Pete and his partner Michael. And after a slow morning, things are picked up for both teams. Because okay. they both did that is the, the four by fours, as in we can just take one of them out for a couple of for an hour. Would it be possible if we were to come this afternoon and just check yeah. some things yeah. out? Well, oh. While well, Team Thrillers yeah. hit the motorway, the others are a off four to A 4x4 could be anything. It's made out of cardboard. It could, yeah, 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 it's actually a Lego piece. Lego, yeah, yeah. connecting Lego. Oh, Meccano mm, girl. Yeah. Technics. Oh, yeah, she's a 90s girl. Yeah. yeah. Liminal space. Liminal. Because at the top hotel, Dead. Natalie had secured for their date. But OK, Shelley so they're both being much more successful limo. at this challenge. Oh, that, that's, that's oh, the one I've already called and they forwarded me to yourself because they haven't got any limos available because of the Ascot that's happening. And they're all booked up for tomorrow. God. Thanks very much. Bye. There are so many other cars Back on pick. the motorway, Denise has luck securing a... Can I say something, though? How are they proving that they're telling the truth? Because anyone, point. Anyone, anyone, anyone can phone someone and be like, I actually am calling on behalf of the Queen. Yeah, like, how are they... I don't know how they're... Yeah, they're, like, that's a good point. That's got to be maybe, like, some production interference, actually. Maybe, because yeah. how would you prove that you are saying what you're saying? Yeah, I they're... mean, maybe... They're, I mean, because they're doing it for free, maybe they're like, oh, if and if it's fake, it's, like, not a problem. When I'm a business owner and someone calls me to be, it's like, oh, Nadine Coyle really wants some eyelashes. Some flow, you. I'm going to be like, uh, thank you. Thank you, I think. Yeah. What's her ad address, I guess? Yeah, exactly. send not a sure. pack of something? I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Yeah, because now we do it via email. It's very easy to check whether an email is legit or not. Yeah, not like a the phone .cz ones. Like, you're always going to oh, be like, always. I represent Bethesda. Yeah, it's like, says Nam is not emailing no. me. Yeah. Top restaurant for lunch. Been offered a table at Meze at 12 that uh, Where's they? We've complimented the champagne on the table, private dining. And following Damon's suggestion of a sex Fury. museum, Denise's phone skills bring her more success. Right. If we have it before it is open to the public. Yeah, that, that's brilliant. So any time from 10am 10, 10 is perfect. Going to a sex museum at 10am is yeah. a bit much, isn't it? The cat hasn't even kicked in. No. Uh, so and that's that's like, special as... He's yeah, a morning coffee. Seven, they go in and it's like seven Just interactive zones. Cock coffee, stuff. yeah. <laughs> Cop the coffee. <laughs> no. We're toying with two options now, so I mean, Which it's we, either oh, toys, the opera, toys, 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 sex toys, yeah. sex dungeon, the, the sex museum. Sex museum. In London, the girls arrive at their top hotel. Ooh. This is our lovely suite. Double oh, Lauren Harris. 
Yeah, I was in a coma. Everybody jerk off. And of course, if they have a nanny or they have a bodyguard, oh. yeah, then don't say it. It's very appropriate. <laughs> that is quite the theme of issue, actually. This is perfection. Yeah. And as well as blagging the hotel. They were, well, they were indulge, weren't they? Indulge us, and the other one's thrill. Mm -hmm. So this is quite. That's quite indulgent, I'd say. That hits the brief, maybe yeah. for the first oh, yeah, time in this it, entire yeah, yeah. season. Does going to a penis museum is that thrilling? I, I, mean, mean, I mean, maybe for like some get like middle-aged women who are like, oh, oh yeah, look like, at that willy. For me, I'm like, if I'm really thrilled, I'm like, take me to like Olden Towers or something. I can get thrown around. Where you've been twenty times already for the extra thrill. Again, once more for the Alton. Should we go straight after this? That was a personal attack. He manages to land some spa treatments. I heard back from Hydro Healing, and Mo the manager there, there. He said he will book them in for a massage. That's not a problem. A massage. The colonic uh, treatment is an independent person there, so he's going to speak to that out, person girls. On, on my behalf. As the other thrill us, a colonic. A colonic. Couples go for colonic. Here's a dick museum and colonic. I. J I don't know how I'd fit it. Rogue, it's rip my, off road. My boyfriend was like, thrillers. There was like, the sex museum, a colonic. I'd be like, what do you think's going to happen? Yeah, what, <laughs> what is, sorry, what's you what? This Rowley's next sentence is so explicit, it simply cannot go on YouTube. Team approached the 4x4 centre in voices concerns about its location. Right, what is it, in uh, distance for Pete to be travelling because we have to get him back in time for the romantic meal at lunchtime as well. So Who books a, a romantic bit... meal at lunch? For thrilling. Weary. Thrill me at lunchtime. A s my salad's on fire. <laughs> Peter, there's an entire <laughs> fire in my salad. The thrill is, it's actually a bomb. It's something that Michael and Peter would never, probably normally get the opportunity to do, you know? It's something, a, a brilliant experience. It's a one-off. Can't you, you know, just exciting. message whoever's doing the lunch and be like, we have a tight schedule. Can we shift them back by half an hour? No. No. And look at the Pete Burns really want to do the off road. They know they have to well, make this is the thing, isn't it? It's meant to be a date for both of them. And I think one of them earlier was like, oh, Michael might like it more. Yeah. So that could be like a two way thing. But I don't get the idea that Pete wants to be jiggled about off road. No. Anyone in glamorous makeup and clothing doesn't really want to be jiggled at any point of the day. Imagine, imagine him walking in these high heels and he's like, Ella. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Oh, On a no. girls. Yeah, and also this is a very masculine, mass daddy straight environment. The idea yeah. of Pete Burns being, come and take Pete for a ride. They'll be like, is he a crossdresser? In between the 4x4 adventure and the sex museum. Oh, the oh. biggest thrill for sex Well, that's a sex thrill, that's an adrenaline, adrenaline that's thrill. Walking, that's walking around the thing, looking at things. It's not. I know, I know what you've done, it's great, but, but it's not. No, 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 I know no, what you've done, it's great, it's also wrong because you're disgusting and I want to win. He hates the women. Isn't it funny he's got another problem with another woman? Like, It's a much bigger thrill getting in a 4x4. That's like walking around a library. And this is also. Really near the other place. Their it's sort kind of thing. thing. It's their, his sort of thing. I know that's out of that is out of character and it's a one-off thing. But uh, this that, that could Pete Burns literally as a teenager used to make his own fetish wear, get on the train, have a bodyguard for the train because he used to get harassed by people on the station platforms and go to Vivian Westwood's shop called Sex. So yes, go for the sex museum. Mm. <laughs> that could go horribly wrong or could be go. I mean, he might even really say, well. I am not but getting in that vehicle. I am not. I, mean, I am strange. not. You yeah, if you disagree. In a weird way, I'm kind of glad that he hasn't had the opportunity to become a horrible turf or oh, no, or I, deeply we said, we, misogynistic problem. We said this problem. a while ago, but like, it feels weird to say he's that that he's dead, but like, we didn't get to know if he would be a bit turfy, because yeah. so many people from this generation seem to be like, awful. Yeah, very that. You have to disagree. You can't, there's no point just following what we, what we, what we think. If you, if that's what... You have you? to dis I have to disagree. You have to. And you have to shove it up my arm. Yes. No, it's, it's got to be unanimous. Like, so be no, I know, but what I'm saying is, you know, express your opinion. Oh, well, I think... Don't. Just don't really have an opinion. Sexy one. I agree. What do you no, think? No, no, it's fine. That's, that's cool, yeah, that's cool. You, you, no, it's mean, cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's good. I think personally, myself... He's so difficult. Uh, yeah. Difficult, yeah. difficult, yeah. lemon, difficult. Uh, Damon, difficult. Possibly the, uh, the traffic and the cars. Demon, Damon, It's like Damon. he's on the naughty step yeah. in this in this shot. It's Super like they've gone, sit down, sit down. And think about what Shut you've up. done. It's a bit of thrill, but I went with the team's decision. Oh, you're such a respected there. And he's gonna he's gonna make that I feeling known. Right yeah. uh, 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 elimination. You know, you just don't know at the end of the day. 
Back in London, things are not. Why did it sound Jane like... Norman? He, he sounded like he got like some hot terminal diagnosis. Yeah, he, was, then. he, he just, just don't know. Yeah, I might die. Happen. Yeah. Not getting better for Shelley. Oh. Is that Vince oh. Williams? She's just got <laughs> diagnosed. <laughs> diagnosed with diarrhea. Um, I'm currently working on behalf of a celebrity called Mr. Pete Burns. Mr. He's very sorry, but there's no way. <laughs> Shelley's having trouble getting a limo today because all of them are taken for Ascot, so so she can't get hold of one. So I'm not get quite sure else. if she's going to be able to get a car at all or whether Pete and Michael are going to end up on a tandem. Finally, to her relief, Does she actually Shelley say it? and Michael are going to end up on a tandem. Finally. Oh, psychic oh, woman on the go. Stick. <laughs> yes. No thanks. I choose my own destiny. Shelley strikes gold. Can't get a limousine, um, but it's an executive car. We can either have a Mercedes, Bentley. Absolutely, that would have, have been way more. Right. When have you ever seen Pete? Oh, I mean, actually, this day and age, limos, limos were still were kind seen, of yeah. the thing, weren't they? I mean, there's even a limo in the beginning entry sequence, isn't there? Non-wise. But I do feel like Pete would have appreciated like a luxury car rather than just a standard limo. Yeah. I bet he can provide it tomorrow. After a long day, it's back home, and the candidates you reflect do on tomorrow's you do events. People think that this is an easy task. It is not an easy task, not at all. I mean, like I say, we were on the phone continuously. We were on the game on the all day. day. Like, and I had my entire chauffeur. pussy out. Mm. So it was babe and, station. Um, just, it, God, it took ages. But the sex museum is in the drop bureau, but it's also going to be closed while they're in there. So there'll be no chance about, hopefully. Um, milling around mm. trying to rob their wallets. There'll be no chaps in there, hopefully, milling around trying to rob their wallets. What a statement to me! Jesus Christ! Do you know, the further this, like, series develops, I mean, I didn't really like him in the first couple of episodes. I thought, I feel like we both got the vibe of, like, oh, you wouldn't... Bitchy queen, yeah, yeah, you wouldn't be someone in my inner circle. But... He's really showing his ass. Yeah. Really showing his ass. On Do you YouTube, knowing it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the other day, the, uh, one of the other episodes where he's like, I f hate her and I hate her. Get rid of a lot of them. It's da, 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 early da, da, morning da. in central London and Pete and Michael arrive for their first date. Ooh. Oh, what's the Hello. outfit? Six. Morning. 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 Hi. Pete, Michael, thanks very much for coming. Oh, she's not tucked. <laughs> and Pete and Michael arrive for their... Where is that? Where? Oh, Trocadero. I think this is that's, the, maybe, that's maybe, part of the old Trocadero. Yeah, maybe that's where it is. Oh, I really miss Trocadero. Why is it just sweet shops now? Uh, money laundering. Money laundering. Wash those notes. Morning. 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 Oh, goodness. Oh, no! Oh, no. Blot. You're gonna have to blot. Oh, my god. The you coffee girl. Outrageous. Oh, that one doesn't stick. But at least they're having fun. <laughs> Think about how many other people Ooh. would have touched that. Is it as well. vibrating? It smells. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 There's the woman getting very intimate yeah. with herself on the wall in a video form. Is it for the bedroom? Or Are you joking the, me? The kitchen? What is that? You can't show any of this. No, this is blocked. Erogenous. Aphrodisiac. G spot. Oh, it's body language. <laughs> Spankometer. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Press. I'm just going to spank this random man. Said the actress to the bishop. That's a nice chest. Oh, no. That's the one thing I can show. You. Uh, uh. While Pete and Michael explore, the team decide to buy some extra special gifts. We tried to so buy stuff because now. the gifts were so expensive, they just they weren't having it. So we um, we just dipped into our own pockets and thought, well, it's a nice little gift from us anyway. That's weird. That's weird. No Why that's that also show? not part of the channel. No, that's so weird. weird. Just trying to find. I can work out where your cheeks are. Okay. That's crap. Yeah. Is it well, the brief of this was thrilling, and we look forward to seeing what the next part of the task yeah, is. Seeing how your thrill is next. Well, yeah. They are not. They're no. like, oh, we got to see a willy. Da 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 da. Food now. Filth later. Oh. Hello! Hello. Oh, oh, Our salads are okay, thrilling. You. They come as free E. coli. <laughs> Ah! 
guys. We really hope that you enjoy some nice, quiet, private time this together. Enjoy thrilling. some nice food and have a, a little drink. Oh, yeah, thrilling. Thrilling food. Company. Goes like eco life. Goes like the alchemist we drink. It's a fun drink. Yes, yeah. exactly yeah. that. Okay. What the f*** is that? What was that? No idea. Drink. I heard the word drinking. Oh, oh he's, he's coming over to my mate. Come on, Nikki, Shelley, and Natalie drive to their first what destination. What a good boy you are. What a good really tired. Really, really sort of um, drained out at the moment. Um, hoping the team are not doing as well as what we're going to do. I think you should love it. I think they should both love it as well. Let's not forget Michael Bless him. I think they should both love it. Love it. Gales. Hi, Hi guys. guys. Oh. <laughs> oh, a different outfit change. Maybe it is a different day, even though they were trying to all sort of organise it together. Oh, the same yeah. Day. Lies. It'll be a dream day. Our theme for you was indulge us. Cool. So that's just what we intend to do from start to finish. Enjoy, enjoy it. Well, like his little booties there, they're fun. <laughs> he loved a heeled boot like mm. that. Very irregular choice. A boot chip. Have you held a hydro cushion before? Yeah, I don't Hydro know. cushion. What's a hydro cushion? Just a wet pillow. <laughs> Enigma. Let me touch you, Jenny. Do you know, my boyfriend has been begging me to try a massage, and I'm like, I just think, I feel like it's far too intimate. I'm like, please. I don't, I don't think I'd like it. It's fantastic. I could spend my entire life doing this. Oh, they've won. Little biscuit. Hello. 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 Hi guys, hope you enjoy the treatments. Um, we have a second part for you. Oh, what's that? We have a car Fabulous. waiting here to take you to your second Oh, part. she managed to get one. Oh, Good. Hi. A little executive car, See Mercedes E class. <laughs> I think I got that. And Michelle on the cliff. Mm. It's been fantastic. Because it was just oh, they've won. So they've won. The whole down point won. of this is that we have to be separate. Mm. I think if it was some kind of day, normally on dates, you do them together. Yeah, but if there's only one massager... Oh, right. Nitpicking, isn't it? Yeah, it They're is, They're probably yeah. told, like, say one good or bad. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Try to keep them guessing. Yeah. They're already here. Oh, we we yeah. 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 How did that happen? Yeah. They must be like, just drive around the block a few times yeah. till they get in. It's traffic. We, yeah, we ran. Oh, they arrived from Pogo well, sticks. Here it is. We have Not you in a those beautiful skirts. room for the night. Uh, we've got your dinner settled. Pussy and knees. Pussy and knees. tomorrow morning. Free bottle of champagne. So go in, enjoy yourself, and make the most of it. I would, if I was gonna surprise a PA guest, I wouldn't be like, "And you get your free bottle of champagne." I would have just let them bring it out and been like, yeah, "Oh, yeah. to top it all off, champagne." To top it all off, death. Come on, kid. <laughs> Stick with me. <laughs> That's quite nice. A little freebie like getaway. I wish you were right. <laughs> it does look like quite a luxury place as well. Look at the size of those wicker baskets. Wow. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Oh, they've won. They've won. Yeah, they've won. Yeah, yeah. Da 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 E. coli salad. Well, and the cars return from their challenge. Right. Back at the house, Ian is despondent about his earlier Ian's efforts. Ian's been despondent the whole season. I just think the other team have done quite well, so... Ooh, look at that little hair band. Oh, very David Beckham. If we lose, it's going to be down to us three. Aww. I don't think our date went that badly, but... I just don't think that... But we didn't actually see anything else. All we saw was the sex museum. The sex museum. The way, where, there was another thing. They got him the dildos and then he went for... No, he, they went for lunch there, didn't they? Did Wasn't they? there a third thing they were meant to... I feel like there was three things they were meant to do. Because the they were going to do the off-roading, yeah. but then that just didn't happen, mm. so... Too much. Go to church. Yes. Uh, Charlotte, quite... I hate Charlotte, Charlotte Church. I hate Charlotte Church. Yeah, I, just, hey, so. I just think the other team indulged more than... What's this like music? He, 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 sounds, he sounds like he's like, and we had to say goodbye we to had her to, in yeah, palliative care. She's <laughs> it's so weird. Hospice, hospice, hostage situation. Oh, hosp <laughs> hospice took over. Oh, the hospice. Yeah. yeah. The back of the hacienda. Yeah. The hospice took oh, over. Are you going back into the hospice? No, no. The hospice. Deranged. Right, we're at the last stretch, girl. 
Who's gonna go? I feel like Shelly was looking like probably gonna go. They were like, mm, yeah, but I don't think she will now because she they seem to be okay on that. It's the morning of the, the elimination, yeah. Yeah. and Pete's thoughts are very much on the contestants' minds. I hope it's Demon. Demon. I hope it's Demon. 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 had to eliminate someone. I think it would have to be Natalie. She oh. is quite hard working, but she hasn't got the motivation. And she hates Charlotte. Charlotte. She hates Charlotte, Jeff, because that would be daft. I think it'll be me that goes. Daft. 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 Possibly Shelley on that. It could be me, it could be Damon, it could be Ian. It, I, I, really don't, I, don't, I don't feel like we've seen Denise know a lot. No, I said, be like, to listen, be yeah. myself and Ian, as Denise Demon. really couldn't be faulted in all fairness for that task. On the naughty step. Oh, she's got her caftan on. I she means business. I like a slight vignette as well. Hi, like, everyone. I love his outfit here. I know his tattoos aren't done, like, the best, because I feel like a lot of the older celebrities didn't have access to, like, the most amazing tattoo artists, but I feel like his outfit here really works with it. Oh, yeah. Hi. Well, it's oh, look at God! Yes. One of you has not got what it takes to be my PA, and that person you just will have to leave the house my eardrum immediately. With E. coli, this week, that pussy. you were taught the art of blagging. Is E. coli the thing that people get eggs? They're like, oh, no, the American no, that's eggs. Salmonella. Oh, salmonella. Yeah. Yeah. Then he had to dash around town to dash find me the very best deals. Oh, you, you so, find the best deal, Donna. Come back. Where did it go? Nick Eade observed the first team, who were Nikki, Natalie, and Denise. Right. And he only had good things to say about them. Because he decided to they get won. Yeah. And Michael, a grooming day, a huge posh box of chocolates, and they even managed to persuade a famous flamenco guitarist to come and play for what you. What are you both. doing? Estimated value of five thousand pounds. I and thought I five and a half thousand. No, wait a minute. I wait, thought wait. five and a half thousand. So it didn't happen. Where was the flamingo dancing? Wait a minute, where was that? I no, because that's going to be happening at the wedding, potentially. So, so that, that didn't so even happen. They've, they, they've done something on the show that isn't, if I wouldn't, it doesn't even happen. But the other, the other team lose for that because they've done something. What? Oh, production. That's, that's re fakery. Yeah, that's really weird. That's beyond TV magic. That's yeah. just TV deception. Yeah, that's just lies. Ellie, <laughs> Ian and Damon. They went out with really great ideas. They were going to get you huge stuff but ended up going into Dead. any old store that was around, running around like headless chickens. They managed to get a few bath products, total retail value of 30 pounds. This week, you also had a chance to impress me by blagging a romantic date for Michael and me. Okay, Rob, get your claws out. Michael How did it go? Sounds like a film. Well, mm. each team was given a theme in terms of He's always together grabbing his thighs. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready, ready for business. Oh, for yes, open Ian, wide, Dame girls. And they started off very strongly. They had some great ideas. They managed to get some off-road driving for you, mm -hmm. uh, which they decided not to go through with. They, in the end, went with a sex museum, so they managed to close it off for you and Michael. They got the uh, champagne lunch in one of London's top restaurants in their private dining room. So that's all of the good stuff. Mm. Unfortunately, this is a competition, so I have to point out some of the negatives. And I suppose my biggest problem is that with the interpretation of the theme, the interpretive I don't think it was, was sufficiently fulfilling the brief of thrilling your... So he's decided that they've lost. But, Ooh, grooming. Ian, you paid for it, didn't you? The challenge was to see how well you can persuade people to use brand Pete to get him things, not to shell out for it out of yeah. your own pocket. That is, the, so that is me, true. That's, that's a, a big failing. Cheating. Okay, Donna, spill the beans. Donna Kebab. Well, I was the beans. observing Team Indulge Me. They uh, got you this amazing suite bounce. of the 007 suite. They also got you spa treatments. They all worked Wait, really 007 well together. Sweet. The yeah, we didn't hear that before, I would did we? Give is that Nikki was like a bull in a china shop. She, I think it's hard for anybody else to be heard when they're in the same team as her. Wasn't and Shelley also I described as a bull in a china quite shop? quite overshadowed by the other two girls there. No. Well, when we arrived at the Sex Museum, which is kind of early in the day, I was like, oh, whatever, it's something to do. And when we went to the restaurant, when we were stuck in that like cordoned off room. We like to go to restaurants to kind of people watch and we just felt like completely isolated in there. But it's not the worst time out that I've ever had in my life. Um, I just kind of feel like a little bit like the sex museum for them is a little bit like a touristy thing. And yeah. it feels like, why would you, I don't know, it's, no, it's no. an odd thing. It's very, like that would thrill people who are of a more, uh, Normative persuasion. Yeah, for someone like the idea Burn. of seeing a big wiggly willy for like Mary. Well, especially, in, this, especially <laughs> like, in the queer community, sex is very different, and I think yes. we we we're a little bit. We get less, to choose our family. Yeah, and I feel and like we get we're, to choose our penis. We're a little bit. We're a little bit <laughs> less prudish, I think, than 
straight people. Yes, are. I would agree with that. So I think maybe sex museum. Did is... you hear that statistic that like straight people have a, an average of eight sexual partners in their entire life? I was like, that's funny. That was before twenty for me. <laughs> oh dear. That was part of the natural flow of the day, and thought, okay, it was something to do. But then, when we got to the other one, we were completely flawed, and it got better. Yeah, of course and you were. Yeah. Better. So this week's clear winner it's is me. Team Indulge Me. Team Indulgence. Who was that then? But Nikki? We're now really getting down to the knuckle. Oh. You'll be judged individually. I've got a feeling some people are getting through on other people's steam. <gasps> oh. Week, so we're, we're going to steam you all to death. So we're going to steamroll your mother. So you're all in the firing line, with the exception oh, of Natalie, everyone. who worked a miracle with that hotel, and believe me, it was fantastic. With the exception of Natalie. And, and there was that Shelley who did that. No, 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 Natalie did the hotel. You're safe for today. Can you leave the room? Pop. One safe, one. It was Natalie because she was. That was when she was. She was like, on the phone. Can you bring the champagne yeah, but too? Yeah, I didn't. Shelley say. Say that she she got the contract. Yeah, didn't she? Sure. Oh. So you've got the best of both. Oh, she's wearing Ian's headband. Yeah. Cross dresser. Ian was a cross dresser. Who do you have? It's gonna be one of those. I need you to step think... forward and tell me exactly what you did on this challenge. Oh, Damon, Demon's gonna be like, oh, I didn't do anything, it was all it his was all fault! them! Iana did it! My task was to get the spa and the treatments, and I do take on board that you, you say I need to calm down. I'm trying very hard, and I will, but bum. I'm so enthusiastic about doing a good job that if that's a fault, uh, I will work on it, but I no still will give you 110%. Okay. Shelley, your go. Why weren't you already doing 110%? I, I did work hard. I don't think I was overshadowed by both of them. I mean, I didn't do as much blagging, I have to must admit. My topic was the limos. I was on the phones all day to every limo company across London. And, you know, I was stressing. By the end of the day, I managed to get you a car. I would, I would be absolutely gutted if I went today. If you give me that one more chance. She did I'll do her job. Yeah, so she did what she was She should be safe. I'll show you the trimmy. Ian, you step forward and your say. Um, in, the, in the first task, I thought my approach to the shops we went into mm. was good. I fun? was calm. Speaking in tongues. I expressed what we actually needed. That's even it. though I did feel that people did come across and just step in front of me trying to put their ideas across. Who let you down? I'd have to say Shelley let me down. Shelley! You were arguing to me in front of the customer as well. But I think we've all we all talked about this and it wasn't really an argument. I was just, I was giving you a bit of advice because I just thought if we went to, we had that approach in the next shop, we'd just get shut away and we actually would come away but with you nothing. you said you were going to go Misogyny. to the shop and you approach mm. you stood there and you said nothing and that's why I decided to take over. That's the only reason Oh, it is awkward. Don't over. argue in front of the judges, girl. Yeah. You're both gone. Step back, Dean. Step back. Step okay, back. Step back, oh! Wait, what? They were, they, they suddenly jumped. It was just like, Dean. Damon. Step back. Okay, Damon. I had some very big ideas. I had an idea of you landing a helicopter, or landing a balloon, and then obviously going from there. But you didn't do that. Hey. You and Michael together, you know, eating, like having a picnic or something. But I already said, you know, ideas don't count for anything. Yes. Everyone has great ideas. Tea. You know, it's the perspiration that's turning it into reality. So who would you get rid of and why? I don't blame you for anything at all, but it would have to be Ian. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Interesting. It's because, so it's because he knows. I'm going to have to like, ask you. To leave the Shelley room. did something. He, even though he clearly doesn't, has a problem with these women, it's like he logically knows that Ian's probably going to be the most likely one to go. So by him saying that, it emphasizes. It's, it's, it, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, not yeah. saying it's it because he actually it. wants him to go. He's saying it because he it seems like, that that's the way it's going. Yeah, yeah he's he's following the crowd. Yeah. Boom. And as I'm sure you know, when you call back in, someone's going to be eliminated. Tear up that CV, girls! Down. Dead! Shelly is quite upset. <laughs> I'd be quite pissed off because it, well. it did feel like they had attacked her. I genuinely don't agree with them. You know, she's pretty faultless. I think that she would actually start to irritate you Thighs. after a while. She is so full of energy. She's constantly doing things. She can't sit still. But we can put Valium in a tea. What about Shelly? I think she's cracking under pressure. Ah! Well, I think that her problem is that she's Done. trying to come forwards a little bit more, but rather than seeing someone who's pleasant and being able to influence, persuade, she's just coming across as very aggressive. She is coming forward. She is. I just don't think she is. I don't, what are they I talking don't think about? Ian. 
Ian, he thinks that he's learning, he believes that he's trying to assert himself, but even here in these eliminations, he doesn't defend himself. Go, he looks like Ian's a gone, puppy. Ian's We're gone. leading him to the slaughter. It's because he's got such a sweet nature. No. He doesn't want to be aggressive. And he wanted you to have that goodie bag. He's not going to lick you out. out. Why is she going like, yeah, why, why is she talking? Like, I don't understand why she's talking like that. She hasn't showed this personality the whole way through. She's just been like, Natalie's disgusting. She's a horrible, oh, aggressive die, die, bitch. Die. It's so jarring to see her now be like, oh, Mummy's oh, little Ian. Mummy's little E girl. Oh, my name's Donna Kebab. Eat my bean. All the sex aids. Yeah. Mm. I have to say, that is real. Oh. All the sex aids. Yeah. Oh, I have to say, the dildos, that is real oh. determination. He wants this so badly. He wants to change his life. Turn everything around. And be a and good job. Doing it. Just because you bought me a bag full of dildos. Well, we're on okay. to Damon, who's pulled himself through by his knicker elastic more often Ooh. than I can bear to think about. Yeah, yeah get rid of him. And that shows great determination, don't you think? No. I'm sick of why does she like Sydney root for these men all of I don't understand why she's, she's so. So, like... her opinions are like, do the opposite of what she's saying because every time she, she's like, remember that octopus that predicted the World Cup? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, do the opposite of yeah. that. Donna's the octopus. You're Donna talking Cross. about, you know, Deadwood. He just keeps irritating me, and every week he redeems himself somehow. How? Okay, I've heard enough. I think I know. I, who like Pete is not going to suffer fools. Pete would not, never for a million years, have someone like Damon around. Oh him. no, no, no! It's going to be. So, should we just get him back in the room and get this over with? Pete is so them? gorgeous. That makes me sick. Right, die. Uh, Ian. His CV. Oh, I think Ian's got. We'll be going CV. right on Indeed.com. And that person's not going to be my PA. And they're going to have to leave the house. Immediately. immediately. And die. Nikki, you're like an alligator. Snap, snap. Once you get something between your teeth, you're not going to let it go. Ooh, like but that, you want that in a PA. that's kind of great. But sometimes you can be a bit of a bull in a china shop. Stop saying that. What is Shelley, this crazy? Slogans. This week, you've really, really come forward and started to assert yourself in a lot of good ways. And we so we're going to send you home. <laughs> you got bolder. But that thing in the shop... That was not so good. Ian, I think you really, really want this job. I really do. But I'm not sure that you can cope. She can't cope. No, she no, no. Not with the constant no. terminal diagnosis. Not with the head and the baby. But I think that's because I really believe that you're a you horrible, work. horrible girl. Oh, different shot. Why are they Why is this a bit firing line, isn't it? <laughs> Lebanese drama. Shelley, you're not going to be my PA. Oh, wow. Wow. Gacked. That, I was not expecting that. Not expecting that. He is shook. He's like, she what? Is the We're really, really getting down to the knuckle now. I, 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 I can't help but think they're going... That was totally set up. I just can't help but think they're going, we need to keep the men in. Because yeah. we want, like, a balance of, like, men and women. I feel like it just... Because that makes no sense. No sense at all. No, Shelley actually did part of the job yeah. and got the car. Like, Ian did nothing. No, that I feel... Oh, trickery girls, yeah. deception, deceit, secrets and lies! And in this competition, there's really no room left to carry Deadwood. Oh, is this a second eviction? Ian, <gasps> you're not going to be my PA. Oh, oh dog gagged they at the pageant! They didn't say anything about a double eviction, no. did they? Well, we were gas bagging all the no. way through. I'm okay. That is the correct decision. Shelley, however, robbed. Uh, what was this music? Da, 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 da. It's Lorene pre Euphoria. Yeah. God, that's a little bit shocking. Really, really shocking. I know to do the job. No, you can't. She wasn't meant to be. I wonder what he's doing now. He's What's he doing fans. now? Yeah, probably. Blake yeah. Mason. Jesus, I've had a lot of knockbacks in my life, you know. What is he saying? Not many people get to experience um, it. I, 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 I have a thing, actually working with such a great guy like Pete, of course. Yeah. Back to proper reality, I suppose. Oh, look. She has to take her Ugg boots down the road. Oh, he's off. They didn't even get to walk together. I really no. believe you've all given 100%. No. And as this starts winding up, 
I need 110%. But also, Donna, you're a bit. So please do well. And thanks for everything you've done. And congratulations. Can you please leave the room? Can you please yeah. leave the <laughs> room? Can you please leave the room? Hey, oh. 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 With Shelley and Hello, Shelley, no longer selling shoes. Four candidates. Oh. Let's remain. Who will I be Pete's PA? Oh, four left girls. What's Next it gonna happen? No. Oh, paparazzi girls. I've got some thoughts. Have you got some thoughts? I have. Some... <laughs> So, my lovelies, we've got some thoughts. Personally, this episode was a little bit of a weird one. It was kind of unpredictable. I did, I feel like this is probably the most heaviest sort of production spin on things. I do find, yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. But also from the fact of like, this show doesn't need to be an hour long. No, 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 no. The fact that no. they tried to make it an hour long by doing two of the same challenge back to back is kind of telling of like the whole the whole challenge this week should have been the second part yeah that, where they were running around going to shops asking for free but things they did this before the one with that bin episode remember when they oh, were like yeah. rummaging through the bin and then they just like completely different the second half and the second half was like fine and right like, when they did the whole like you've got to sing will yeah. you spin me right round in, in the style of dead women like it was it's so, so stupid weird. the collection and do you remember the drain pipe challenge yeah like this show the budget is very low. In fact, the budget is so low that they are going out and asking for free things. Yeah. Whilst actually being on like a national television uh, living. station. Living to Mind you, I guess it's living too, isn't it? We I am quite surprised that there was a double eviction this time. There, we, was, there was no hint. They didn't Maybe they did and we just talked over it. I don't know, but I don't think there was. No, we've still got like four episodes to go. Four? Yeah, there's, this is a 10 episode season. Jesus. I know, it's, it's actually really weird how long they've dragged this out for considering that it was a product of its time. You'd think they would probably be like, oh, six episodes. Yeah. Done. But my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in, in this today's episode because I don't think Damon should have been saved. I think it should have been. No, Damon should have gone. I think I would have preferred Ian to stay over Damon, but that's just because Damon's being quite hateful the yeah. whole time, actually. But yeah, really weird decisions. Very, but Pete was turning the looks this episode. He did, yeah. yeah he but did. also, so I don't just... understand why Donna is so aggressive. She seems yeah. to be really like hateful. She's really misogynistic, but then like wants to baby the boys. Yeah. Which I feel is oh, very- Oh, he's yeah. so kind. Oh, oh, little oh, Ian shouldn't go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And then Pete was like, die. Die. <laughs> <laughs> so my lovelies, it's now time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can. And I also want to say a massive hello and welcome to the brand new Patreons. Jamie Clark, Emily Jeziek, Madeline Paishner, partially discombobulated and chronically observing. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon, you stunning women on the go. And if you would like to provide the channel with a little bit of extra support, my lovelies, check the Patreon link in the description box below. You get access to various things, including outtake videos. And in this video, there's a lot, as you can probably tell. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Fable and Flourish, Jamie Clark, Jen Martin, Jennifer Herman, Jin Wu Choi, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lizette Cares, Millie Hammond, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Novembrix, Paolo Rivera, Ryan Vita, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I'm gonna leave it on the notes of if you have a really hateful little person in your friendship group that constantly has a problem with you, just cut them out. Yeah. Cut them out. Cut them cut out. Them out Am like, I the no, problem? No, I was pointing at myself. Oh, right, well, no. well. Yeah. How does your coffee taste? How now, brown? How big's the willy in your How coffee? much hole have you, nerd? How now, brown? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, my loves? We'll see you in the next one. Ah. Ah.